Hello, brothers and sisters. I am back on here. I just shared a video about a recent dream that I had about how the enemy works to try to stop the brethren, the brothers and sisters from around the world from worshiping and praising God. And now is the time to lift up our voice as a trumpet and to spare not. Lift up thy voice as a trumpet. We have to speak precisely. We have to speak boldly. We have to speak intentionally upon the things of God and stand firmly planted upon his word. Hallelujah. We have to be connected with other believers in fellowship this season for strength because of the things that are coming in the world around us. It says in the word of God that in the last days, perilous times shall come. Men shall be lovers of themselves, haters of good, haters of God, men pleasers. They please man and not God. They're self-seeking, murderers of mothers, murderers of fathers. You know, there's a lot of murder and violence and strife and greed and covetousness and there's a lot of that going around and some people will say, well, that was always going on in the world. Yes, to some degree, but we've seen things begin amping up and it's amping up because you and I are in a spiritual battle. We are in a spiritual war. It cannot be one with your opinions, your words. We are wrestling against demonic spirits that have been unleashed to attack our minds, our body, our soul, and to get our spirit weary, to pull us away from doing the things of God, to pull us away from living out our purpose. I once was lost, but now I'm found, pulled out of the grip of addiction to serve my faithful creator. He has a purpose, glory to God, for each and every single one of us, and we cannot let the enemy hold us back. We are wrestling spirits. So to come against these demons that have been unleashed to attack your mind, to attack your body, use the word of God against them. Use the word of God as the sword of the spirit. Speak the word of God. Speak scriptures. Meditate on scriptures. Get those verses in your mind daily. You can even get a blank notebook and just start one verse at a time with one verse each day. Start declaring and decreeing God's favor and promises over your life. It says to decree a thing and it shall be established. Stand strong. Amen.